Let's work through a direct labor budget example problem. So Stanton Company is preparing a direct labor budget for 2020 from the following production budget based on a calendar year. So we're given some information there in the table for how many units they will be producing in each quarter in 2020. Then we're told that each unit requires two and a half hours of direct labor and wages are expected to be $20 per hour. We need to use all of that information to prepare a direct labor budget for 2020. So this is what a direct labor budget will look like. We have our units to be produced, direct labor time per unit, total required direct labor hours, direct labor cost per hour, and total direct labor cost. So the first step is just plugging in the numbers for the units to be produced. We got those amounts from that table that we were given previously. So in the first quarter, we're going to be producing 18,000 units. The second quarter, 20,000. Now, direct labor time per unit. So how much time does it take for each unit? Well, we were told two and a half hours of direct labor would be needed. So we can plug that in all the way across our direct labor budget as well. Now for total required direct labor hours. What we'll be doing here is we'll be taking our units to be produced and multiplying it by that 2.5, multiplying it by our direct labor time per unit. So in quarter one, we'll need 45,000 hours of direct labor. Quarter two, 50,000. Right, so we do that for each of the four quarters. Now, direct labor cost per hour. Well, we're told that wages are expected to be $20 per hour, and that isn't supposed to change throughout the year, so it remains constant through each of our four quarters. Now, to find our total direct labor cost, we'll take our required direct labor hours multiplied by our cost per hour. So in quarter one, if we needed to have 45,000 hours of direct labor and each hour was going to cost $20, we multiply those two together and that's how we get our total direct labor cost. So in quarter one, we're expecting to spend $900,000 on direct labor, quarter two, a million dollars, and so on. Now, you'll notice over on the far right of our direct labor budget, we have this column for the year. Now, we haven't filled in anything so far. The only spot that's going to be filled in here for the year is going to be our total direct labor cost for the entire year. So we have our per quarter direct labor costs all calculated. So if we add up our four direct labor costs for each quarter, we can see that in the year for 2020, we expect to spend $3,750,000 on direct labor.